I'd like to have an adventure to seek my fortune and fame. But I think I might get homesick, so I'll just play my video game. I'd like to be in the circus with lions and tigers to tame. But it seems like too much work, so I'll just play my video game. What's up, guys? Episode 23, Show for Gamers, Mafia Dose Review. Number two. If you... I'm Jay, that's Al. Yeah. If you want to be in the Mafia and feel what it's like, play this game. You play as Vito Scaletta, and you run around with your buddy Joe Barbarone, and you get in some trouble, so you got to join World War II. First level, you're playing in World War II. And then you get back, and you try to join the Mafia. Something happens, and then the game skips from 1945 to, like, the 50s. Ooh. Very good period game. Yeah, they they nail the periods very well. Decent graphics. Awesome <laughs> gun battles. Like, I'm talking about, like, destructible environments. Yeah. Hitting a guy two or three times with a bullet and killing yeah, him. Yeah, very realistic. Very <coughs> gruesome. Watch this. Don't kill me! Now that we're back, oh. you tell me what you thought of that violence. Bam. Um, pretty decent graphics. If a lot of you think that this is a, a Grand Theft Auto game, I would have to say that it's not a Grand Theft Auto game. It's a Grand Theft Auto universe where I can drive wherever I can see, blah, 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 blah. But amount of optional stuff isn't there. It's like you can take cars to the junkyard, get them crushed for money. You can go to bars and shit and drink and get drunk and buy food to heal yourself. Yeah. You can export cars. Yeah, you can export docks. cars from the docks. Um, you can get up to 10 cars in your garage and upgrade those fully. But let me warn you, there. May, spoiler alert, uh, there is something that happens in the game, so it kind of doesn't matter if you save all your shit. I just pick one car you really like, upgrade it, and just keep using that one, I think. I play this on the PS3, easy, fun controls, simple, good graphics. Um, otherwise, but my point is, the game is open, but it's not open. Because other than those two things we mentioned... There's just a storyline. There's a storyline. It's a linear storyline. This yeah. is what happens next. Day passes. Net two weeks pass. Here's what happens yeah. next. And it just breaks down through Vito Scaletta's life. The yeah. end. It's just you try to get money and do job, do the jobs that are given to you. Try to work your way into the mafia. Get cool guns. Really good period piece guns. Uh, grease gun. The Tommy gun. Yeah. M M forty from the German stuff. Car nine eight K. Good st shotgun. Good stuff. No. Yeah. Um, the thing I love again. The thing I like about this game is the period. It takes place in it, and the characters are really well written. The only other thing you can do in the game is collectibles. You got, basically, if you're playing on medium or easy, you can get the... Wanted posters. Right? Wanted posters. Yeah. But then there's also, in interior environments, like inside places, there's Playboys. And when you unlock those, you unlock, like, real, like, Playboy playmates from, like, the 40s and 50s. So it's pretty freaking impressive. Ooh. And it look good. How can you not like ladies? If you're playing hard, you can unlock pinups. So I'd say it's about 20, 25 hours worth of play time to beat the game on like medium or easy. And then probably play it again. So you're looking at 40 hours if you want to play it. Other than that, not a lot of replayability, but it's really awesome. At least, I think everybody at least should just rent it yeah, and play you, it, period. Yeah, um, it's almost like a must rent. Yeah, if you sit down at hardcore style and just play it like kind of nonstop, you can beat it in like three or four days. Yeah. Otherwise, it'll take the average gamer, like, you know, around a week to beat it. Yeah. 8 out of 10. Just 
a good solid game. Who knows? And if they have downloadable content, it would be even better to buy. Right. Let's try to get one of ours. Yeah, this time. see if I can get one of ours. Because we've had what, five? Five in a row. Five subscriber titles in a row. Next week, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Good game. And Shank. Subscribe, please, if you like our reviews and check out the behind the scenes where you answer emails, shoot the shit, just talk about general stuff. It's usually a little bit more funny, less informative. Next episode is called Funco Land. Watch it.